The universe we live in is unfathomably large. But what if everything in the entire universe was compressed to a point of zero volume or a singularity? According to the standard model, this was the universe before the Big Bang. The issue with the singularity is that the probabilistic effects of quantum mechanics become non-negligible at such a small size. To fix this, Stephen Hawking, James Hartle, and Thomas Hertog created the no-boundary proposal. The premise of the no-boundary proposal is that the Big Bang occurs in Euclidean space-time, which is four spatial dimensions and no time dimension, and then the universe transitions into Lorentzian space-time, which is three spatial dimensions and one time dimension. The fourth spatial dimension of Euclidean space-time is known as imaginary time. Let's pause for a second. While imaginary time may sound like a dimension of time, it's actually a spatial dimension. This means that we no longer consider one event occurring before another. In other words, we no longer ask the question when something happens, we only ask where. In this model, the vertical axis represents time, and the horizontal planes represent two-dimensional cross-sections of the universe at that time. In contrast to the no-boundary proposal, the standard model states that Lorentzian space-time began at the Big Bang. All mass was concentrated at a singularity and rapidly expanded into the known universe. As mentioned before, however, when the universe is smaller than the size of an atom, the interesting world of quantum mechanics has non-negligible effects on the early universe. In quantum mechanics, the state of a particle is determined by a wave of probabilities. A section of the wave with a higher amplitude represents a higher probability at that state. Hawking, Hartle, and Hertog analyzed the geometry of the universe quantum mechanically. They summed up all the different amplitudes using this path integral shown here. Wait a minute, what's a path integral? In classical physics, a macroscopic object such as a football moves from one place to another along a singular path. In quantum mechanics, a given particle travels from one place to another along a superposition of many paths. To sum up these paths, we use a path integral. In this general equation, we have an infinite sum of each path times each probability. Like in other path integrals, the no boundary wave function is a sum of amplitudes, each amplitude here represented by the function i. The only difference between the no boundary wave function and other path integrals is that the no boundary wave function is in 3 space, as denoted by the 3 partials. The no boundary wave function is a sum of paths for the history of the universe. The consequence of this equation affects the geometry of our model. According to this proposal, the universe begins in Euclidean space time until imaginary time gives way to real time. This causes the geometry of the model to be rounded in Euclidean space-time and without a singularity. The idea of imaginary time turning into real time and Euclidean space-time turning into Lorentzian space-time has been a point of controversy in the scientific community. Regardless, the no-boundary proposal is an interesting explanation for the beginning of the universe.